Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the program. Uh, today we're going to talk about the oldest uh, cave paintings ever uh, discovered on Earth, and they are 44,000-year-old Indonesian cave paintings. And not only is it rewriting the history of art, it should uh, make people rethink the spread of of Homo sapiens around 100,000 or starting 100,000 years ago or so in terms of where people were moving, mass migrations and all this stuff. Uh, this is a huge piece of evidence. It, it's like a node of information that we're going to have to constantly come back to as we, uh, again, develop this, this picture of, of human history. These scientists, they, they say they found that the oldest known figurative painting, again, figurative painting is very important because it, it, it's a testament to abstract thought. Um, advanced thought, uh, thought beyond um, the the immediacy of our senses, and that's very important when we're talking about human history and the advent of ideas and, and just human origins in general. So it depicts a stunning scene of a hunting party, again painted about forty four thousand years ago. The 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 oldest before this discovery was in Chauvet Cave in France, which is thirty seven thousand years old. So just to give you guys an idea, here's Indonesia here, and then the Chauvet Caves are here in Europe. That's a long distance. Again, we'll we'll compare and contrast some of these uh, uh, discoveries as well as talk about some other um, some other cave paintings as well in other areas that you would think would be older. Several years ago, a group of scientists started dating cave paintings in, in, in Indonesia. They used uranium series analysis to determine the painting's age. They did not use carbon dating because, again, after a certain point, carbon dating is unreliable. Uranium uh, dating goes back about, it's reliable up until about 75 to 80,000 years, maybe even longer, 90,000 years. The oldest figurative painting in those analyses was a striking image of a wild cow, which we'll, we'll look at some of these images later. So it, it stretches about 16 feet of a cave wall. Um, and then they tested some of the, the pigments and they found that it has to be attributed to early modern humans just because of, again, the, the figurative cave art, art and all of the... Um, all the, everything that we know of art history usually traces to some sort of uh, anatomically modern human. Um, although there are some who believe that some of the cave paintings, especially the ones in Europe, were done by uh, Neanderthals, which I think is completely possible. I, I think Neanderthals were completely capable of doing not only uh, creating bracelets and, and, and primitive tools, but I think they were able to, to create art as well. So the, all of their findings were published in the journal Nature. The painting tells a complicated story. It depicts jungle buffaloes and wild pigs pursued by tiny hunters with spears and ropes. So here's a picture here on the left. It's a hunter depicted as a part human, part animal being. So again, we have this anthropomorphic um, figure that we've had with ancient art as well, like the, the um, Lion Man from the Stadel Cave in, um, I think it's in Germany. He's a anthropomorph, and there are some other ones too. So there's a picture of that, and this is a cave painting here, and they've dated each part. So this is about forty-one thousand years old. This is forty-four thousand. This is a cow, and yeah, you can see a range of um, dates here. Here's a pig. So this is an animal being hunted in the rock art scene. So this is a Sulawesi wart warthog or warty pig. And this is an Anoa, which is, um, you, you can see here, it's, it looks almost like a goat here. And you can see clearly that's what it is. That's definitely an animal. Um, these are all, there's no question about that. And then here's a part human, part animal being again. And then the detail hunting scene depicting six tiny therianthrop fig figures. So again, you start seeing this uh, pattern here of these a human animal hybrids going on a hunt of these obviously real animals and some of them i don't think a lot of i don't know if there are any extinct animals in here but these are definitely extant animals that are that are in existence today so these part human part animal figures might signal early religious beliefs because they can indicate that ancient humans could imagine things they had never seen again this idea of abstract thought stuff that's not immediately around them imagination creative thinking all of these things are, are indicative of these types of figures the only thing other, the only contrary to that would be if there were real 
animal hybrids that were walking in the earth at the time and they were just trying to copy what they were seeing that's the other alternative now i don't know how likely that is because there aren't any at least none that i know of today animal hybrids but if there were at the, at the time i would definitely stand corrected but so far there's no evidence for that those artists were capable of the sorts of conceptualizations that we need in order to believe in religion um, so there, you can extrapolate that the fact that they have these cave paintings means that they had some sort of belief system, some sort of religion, which this belief in the afterlife, which definitely could be very likely. There are some older examples of humans making simpler markings like zigzags or circles, but these are way more, um, sophisticated than that. I think the overall theme here really is that we've vastly underestimated the capacity of our ancestors. And that's true. Our ancestors were just as smart as we are now. They just had different different environment at the time, different um, context. Uh, we live in a completely different context that might as well be alien to them. But in terms of capacity and learning and, and as far as our biological hardware goes, it's pretty much the same. The oldest cave paintings in Europe and Asia have common elements. She thinks that even older paintings will eventually be found in the place where both groups originated from. Here's a very interesting, the most interesting part of the article to me. So Von Petzinger says, our ancestors already knew how to do art before they left Africa. Here's a caveat here. No figurative cave art in Africa has been dated older than the Indonesian works. That's very interesting because you would imagine that if they did the cave art that they have in Africa, you would imagine it would be much older than the Indonesian works, but they haven't found anything yet that is older than the Indonesian work. So let's just say that that never turns up and maybe there is no cave art that's older than Indonesia that in Africa that, that exists, then that could mean as it stands now that creative, all this stuff, this understanding of how to do artwork would predate Africa. So that means there were people in Indonesia and I don't know how far back, even Australia, if you want to go that far, these people, if you're thinking about the out of Australia theory again, then these people who had the, these capabilities along with boating and all of these other innovations that you would think of hunting these tools who's to say that they didn't they didn't have a culture of their own assisted by the um not only language but again this art these artistic endeavors the fact that they had the tools the, the artistic wherewithal and that it predates Africa lends credence to this idea that, okay, there are people who brought that over to Africa from Indonesia. Because again, if you look at the pictures, it's very similar. The ones in Europe and the ones in Asia are very, very similar. They have therianthropes. They have hunting parties, these hunting depictions. Some of them are extinct animals. Some of them are animals that still exist. So what does that mean to you guys? Let me know in the comments what that means to you guys that Africa, Africa's cave paintings are younger than the ones in Indonesia. That is, that's really mind blowing as well. Yeah. Let me know what you guys think about that. Um, is, do you, th some people might say, well, oh, this dating might be faulty, which I would agree with if it was radio carbon dating, but it's not as uranium dating. Um, but yeah, if you guys think that, let me know in the comments. Um, are there any criticisms of, of this? Do you think, do you think, Africa is still older. It's just that they haven't found some of the caves yet because it is true. Africa is a huge, it's a huge continent. So there, there very may well be some cave paintings that haven't been discovered yet that are perhaps way older. But if there were, then I wonder how much older they would be and how much would that change the paradigm. But as it stands now, all the oldest artwork is in Indonesia. And that is pretty groundbreaking again so let me know what you guys think about out of africa out of australia all of these things and i'll talk to you guys later